It's finally time to build eBay systems, and I am overcoming a serious cold, so I apologize if I sound a bit weird. I've got everything I intend to use right here behind me, and it all clocks in at just under 300 USD. Stay with me. The Scythe Fuma 2 is a strong air cooler contender thanks to its six nickel plated copper heat pipes and dual tower array. It's also compatible with most builds thanks to a slim 120mm fan up front and asymmetrical stands for unrestricted RAM clearance. That's right, all four RAM slots should be good to go. Pretty much unheard of in this category. You'll also be pleased to know the Fuma 2 won't break the bank at just under 60 USD. Click the links below for more details. So let's jump straight into it. Here are the components I used, starting with the platform. This right here is an Intel DX58SO motherboard on the LGA1366 socket. It's an ATX board, which was important for this one, seeing as though we're using, that's right, two graphics cards, cross-fired AMD RX 470s and a $300 budget build. I think it's pretty impressive, although not very practical for most games, just for the synthetics we're testing. And a few of you have complained about the fact that we're just using synthetics here. The reason why is because games can be very polarizing. They can either have a preference for Nvidia cards or AMD cards, or maybe Intel CPUs or AMD CPUs. And if we choose, say, GTA 5 as one of our benchmarks, we might know in the back of our heads that they that game typically favors an Intel CPU, and that would skew our our, our, our I guess, hunting, right? So we might want to hunt just for Intel CPUs because we know they tend to do better than AMD ones. But anyway, I have no idea how we're going to address this in the future. Again, it seems like the obvious answer would be to select some games to benchmark as well, but again, all games tend to handle hardware differently. And if everyone but one person builds an AMD system and the games we choose to benchmark are Intel biased to an extent, then the person who built the Intel system would have an edge. And using synthetic benchmarks gets rid of that. But it also encourages people to do weird things, kind of like how I did with two cards. And that obviously isn't practical in a gaming build. So maybe we'll just uh, put a rule out there that says we can only have one graphics card to eliminate that. I'm not too sure. I addressed this with the guys before I bought the cards and they said it would be okay. Uh, so they knew what I was doing and I, I guess they could have done it too if they wanted. But uh, their builds you'll see are a bit more practical than mine. But I felt like this configuration here was enough to win. But back to the hardware. Accompanying the DX motherboard was originally a Core i7-920, which is a four core, eight thread processor released in 2008 and based on the 45 nanometer process. At just under one billion transistors and a max turbo of around three gigahertz, it was a great chip in its day, but would surely show its age today. I mean, it's over a decade old. And that's why I bought a Xeon 5650 to swap it with. It relies on a newer process, boosts to over three gigahertz and sports six cores with hyper-threading. The only caveat, I'll need to update the BIOS on this DX board in order for the system to post. Lastly, we've got 8 gigs of DDR3. Pretty bare bones, sure, but enough for a budget gaming PC, no doubt, not gonna complain, and plenty for Windows 10. This entire platform, by the way, minus the Xeon swap, was purchased for 85 USD with free shipping, which I thought was pretty good. Would have been nice if it was already bundled with the 5650 uh, and, uh, and also a uh, flashed BIOS. But uh, I mean, the, the Xeon 5650 was like, I think $8 on eBay. So at the end of the day, I ended up getting the entire, you know, end platform, the, the one that I was gonna test with for still under 100 bucks. Up next, the graphics cards. I purchased two ASUS RX 470 minor cards, which boast only DVI-D out ports. That's because they are mining SKUs. It was the one compromise, but well worth it for the 50 USD I paid for each. That's right. 50 US dollars for RX 470s with gaming V BIOSes flashed prior to the sale. I had high hopes for this Crossfire config and the synthetic test we plan to run. It'll make more sense later on, I'll explain why, but yeah, I felt like I knew what I was doing there. I needed a cheap, powerful PSU to handle, remember, two card configs along with a potentially overclocked Xeon, and I found the 720, 720, I shouldn't even call it a 725 watt power supply because I'm pretty sure it's not, but it's it, apparently, according to the sticker, it's rated at 725 watts, two 12 volt rails, 30 USD, just over that. Comes in a generic brown box, uh, and if that wasn't sketchy enough, the unit weighed considerably less than even like a, a cheap EVGA 500 watt budget unit. So uh, we'll see how it holds up. The important thing for now though is it comes with two 8-pin PCIe power cables with the, uh, which the RX 470s would need to function, right? So I could have used those Molex PCIe adapters, but uh, I didn't want it to be too sketchy. Lastly, the case. I was in a bit of a predicament. Cases on eBay can be extremely expensive thanks to shipping. They're large, generally heavy, 
shipping costs go up. Many big box and e-retailers cut deals with shipping companies to keep prices down, but third-party sellers enjoy no such savings for the most part. So what you'll often see are cases for under 50 bucks on eBay, but with 50 or $100 shipping fees attached. Obviously nothing like this was gonna work in our budget, so I opted instead for a Rosewell Zircon fulfilled by Newegg. So in this case, shipping was included and the chassis itself was ATX, which is important for our Crossfire config it wouldn't have really worked out in most of those MATX cases out there and most MATX motherboards. My original intention was to buy an even cheaper DIY PC case, by the way, for around 32 bucks instead of 39.99, but complications with payment led me to this one instead for a bit more. It doesn't look too bad for the price, to be honest, and even comes with two fans to keep our components a bit cooler because two graphics cards typically run fairly hot in a system when they're not liquid cooled. And remember, all of us use the same ADATA SU630 240 gig SSD and its price was deducted off the top from each of our budgets in an effort to standardize a rather subjective expense. And storage is, yeah, it's subjective. There's, really, there's not much more to say other than that. And you can always throw a cheap hard drive in after the fact. You can bring your own hard drive from an older system with your Steam library, whatever, piece of cake. All in, I was at 296 USD, what I believe to be an excellent price to pay for an overclocked six core, 12 thread, dual RX 470 system. I really thought I had this one in the bag. And that's when the problems arose. First of all, one of my cards was bricked, straight up DOA. And there's a pretty long story to this. I called up Brian over at Tech Yes City. He's got a, you know, some experience with, with mining cards and flashing the BIOSes. We troubleshot things for a few hours, but it ultimately doesn't end up working at the end of the day. You'll see a separate video on this soon, regarding the troubleshooting process and the methodology. But that was the first huge blow. Only one RX 470 wasn't gonna cut it, and I couldn't find another listing at 50 bucks, so I was kind of screwed there. I knew all this going into it, by the way. The risk was my own to bear, and it was already paying me back, but matters got much worse the next day. This was the day I planned to upgrade the DX58's BIOS. I tried hot swapping the CPUs up front with the BIOS that the board shipped with, but couldn't get a post. No biggie, just wanted to check. Just, you know, it would have made my job easier if the BIOS was already up to date. I'll just hop on over to Intel's website then, right? And snatch up a compatible one. But then I realized that just a few weeks earlier, Intel had removed literally every BIOS on its website for older Intel boards. You can check this out yourself, by the way. I've linked to the, the, the general, I guess, BIOS search site down below. It's Intel's website. Uh, but you'll see that it says that they've removed the BIOSes. It literally just happened, by the way, a few weeks ago. I ranted about it a bit on Twitter and talked to Brian a bit more. He was surprised as well. And we ended up searching the wide web for any archive we could find. There were a few projects in the works, but I couldn't manage to find this specific board's archive. And the few websites that did appear to have the BIOS I needed were super sketchy, cluttered with ads. You guys know those ads that look like download links, but they're actually not. They're just trying to redirect you somewhere else. Yeah, sites like that. And of course, sticking with the, the, the Core i7-920 was an option but seeing as though one of my RX 470s was already out of commission, the old i7 would have been the final nail in the coffin. I knew it was not going to pull its own weight, missing one of those graphics cards as well. I did not want to come dead last in this contest though, so I took another ultimately fatal risk. I downloaded what appeared to be compatible BIOS with the 5650. The flash seemed successful at first, I thought I was in business, but following the reboot, I couldn't get a post, no matter what I did. The board was literally bricked and I wasn't even getting power to my peripherals that tells you how bad it was. I tried both CPUs, I tried different graphics cards, I tried different power supplies. I, I think I tried one stick of RAM, trying all the different slots. I knew it wasn't RAM, but whatever, just to cover all my bases. Board was dead. And that meant that any chance I had of winning was also, yeah, dead. So now it's time to talk with the guys and ultimately wave the white flag. It really sucks. My system is over there in a heap of, uh, it's not doing really anything right now because it can't do anything. <laughs> so in case you're wondering, oh uh, your boy's gonna be sitting this one out because his stuff is broken. And, uh, uh, <laughs> you guys can take it from here. <laughs> I'm just gonna be watching and commenting. All right, so at least we're, one of us is guaranteed second place. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we won't get last. All right, do you want a rock, paper, scissors, Stanny? So you goes first. <laughs> sure. <laughs> rock, paper, okay. One, two, three, go. 
Oh, oh wait, I don't want to go first. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> oh, okay. I'll, I'll... Oh, did you go first? Okay. I'll also go first. So the computer actually isn't in its case yet. What? Because... Whoa, 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 whoa. Dude, that's gonna affect your, that's to... gonna affect your benchmarks, man. Yeah, it would it. because mine's my my tempered glass is on and it runs hotter. <laughs> it Way on. hotter. <laughs> yeah. Well, it does run hotter because yeah. uh, I didn't even get extra fans, so it's just a hot box. <laughs> Dang, I didn't even think about that. You went to like okay. 240p for a few seconds there, Austin. <laughs> Are you on like wireless? 10 pixels? Yeah, I'm on my laptop. That's probably why. If you can guess what motherboard that is, I would be very surprised. But here's the CPU cooler. I got it for about, I want to say like 20 bucks. It works pretty well. Um, you could probably guess the video card. I'm assuming we had similar video cards. Yeah, in this price things. range. Yeah, something of the same caliber. Um, the power supply, surprisingly, it's Seasonic. It's an S12 too, so I know it's going to be fine. I got that for like 30 bucks. Um, 30 bucks? Beyond, Where'd you find yeah. that? Jeez. Yeah, eBay, dude. What? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I know. I was looking at the same place you were. I didn't find well, a yeah, Sonic. I think it depended on the day. Okay, so time for benchmarks. I'm gonna cover my webcam real quick just so you guys. Know. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's kind of blown out right now, so we can't see. You can't anyway. see crap anyway. Yeah, honestly. yeah you got yeah. like Walmart connection <laughs> going. <laughs> Even if you maximize it, yeah, so run it maximize so that it doesn't move around. Are you guys ready? <laughs> yeah. So we're gonna know what, I mean, we're gonna see how many threads you have when you start this. So that's gonna be partially revealing, so this will be... Wait, really? It shows you that? Yeah, you'll, no, see, you'll how see how many, how many squares are being generated at a time. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. So we'll know if it's a six-core, 12-thread, or a four-core, eight-thread. Like, we'll know at least that part. Okay. All right, let's do it. Oh yeah, he went Zeon. There's no, <laughs> there's no way. He, there's no way. Ah, <laughs> oh, jeez. This is the only one I know I could win. We're not even gonna have to. Like, this now. is what I was going with. This was my system. There's Let's literally see. nothing else I could win except oh for this section. God. So I was putting all of my. I don't know. I mean, if you got a decent graphics card, then I think I played it too safe. Cause you know how you guys are having a. Uh, like some troubles and stuff. Compatibility yeah. stuff. I played I played the safe route. Dang it. Okay. I can do you want me to tell you the score? What yeah. you get, yeah. 1024. Oh jeez. Hey, you're oh, screwed. Man. You're so screwed, Danny. I'm screwed. <laughs> okay, so I'll do my showcase now. Oh, at least where's can we add in the aesthetics category? <laughs> Dude, yours, oh, yours is, you uh, that? oh, that's your main computer. Oh, okay. I was no, so confused how you got that computer. I was like, yeah. what? <laughs> that case. This right here. You guys probably saw this case pop up on eBay because it was one of the cheaper ones. Yeah, I did see it's it. under 40 bucks. You can't really see too much of what's going on. Wait, in is that actually nice tempered glass? I thought that was like, a yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's Dang. tempered. That's definitely tempered. Danny, okay. I'm honestly impressed. No, 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 you're not going to be impressed, impressed by this score that... <laughs> well, Danny has RGB, so he gets that million point buffer, remember? No, it's not RGB, it's just a big <laughs> Oh, GG. Never mind, no it's good in 2019. Hard. Oh, jeez. I'm, man, I'm embarrassed now after that. It could be fun. <laughs> All right. The, the graphics totally cards fine. are weighted more in these tests, though, just saying. Because, like, yeah. two of the three are more heavily... So that's, what, four cores, eight threads? So that's got to be like Core i7 2600 maybe or Core i7 yeah, I'm 920. Yeah, i Actually, what kind of cool, what kind of cooler is that? No, Ozzy's little boxes were smaller, right? When Wait, he was doing it. That's AMD. It looks yeah. like. Mm, no, I think that's I think that's LGA 1155. Like oh yeah. With the with this diagonal looking cooler. Yeah. Is that's that the, the stock cooler? Uh, I just I literally just built in something like that. That's just why I recognize it. Otherwise so he went i7 then he had to i7 2600 probably you'll get like six I think you'll get six or seven hundred CB somewhere in that range Yeah, let's see. It's about to finish. Oh, man 607 Ooh. Oh, oh That's a D. That's a D compared <laughs> to Ozzy Oh my gosh <laughs> Okay Ooh. Dude, that's that's <laughs> That's gonna be hard. I, I mean, you're gonna have to really kill it. it earlier, but you're gonna have to kill it okay. with your graphics we'll take score. that score. Dude, oh. if depending on your video card, I think you have a very solid chance. Mm, unless you got like a really crappy <laughs> video card, because uh, there's not that much you can do with the rest of them. No. Yeah, well, it depends honestly. on how much you spend on a Xeon platform. Assuming he's a Xeon, like 
Some of those X58 boards can be I, really expensive. I looked at Xeon and I was like, these motherboards are kind of pricey. I know the CPUs are cheap, but around a hundred are... bucks for the platform, yeah. which only leaves you with a hundred bucks for a graphics card if you and yeah. RAM and power supply or yeah, yeah, we, yeah, because the power supply is what th we all paid around thirty bucks for that. The case was around mm -hmm. thirty yeah. bucks, I presume, mm -hmm. and then the drive was thirty, 30 bucks. For the SSD. So that's a hundred dollars there. So. Yeah, you only had really a hundred bucks to play with if your platform was a hundred bucks. Dude, you're frozen oh, right now. Your what? face looks super sketch. Okay, never mind. <laughs> it's gone. Wait, me? Oh, okay. Yeah, look at your face. Do you see it? Do you see it, Danny? Yeah, yeah, I know. He's got like black circles around his eyes. Like, <laughs> wait, me? Like a raccoon. <laughs> it looks yeah. so bad. Every time you move, I think it's like too much for the camera. To Dude, it's so bad. <laughs> Leaving trails. Are you on dial-up? <laughs> Serious question. Are you? <laughs> You got like a like a 56k modem back there. It's like, <laughs> start beeping at you. I'm literally, I'm literally less than five feet from my rocket right now. <laughs> I don't know how this is happening. Um, okay, so the first test recap. So Ozzy got a score of one. So he set the bar. Oh jeez. And uh, Danny, <laughs> Danny has a what is it called? Like an aggregate or something? He has a score of 0.593. So oh, that hurts. You are almost half. Of, uh, yeah, well, I'm pretty sure we City. have like similar graphics cards though, so. I know you guys can't read this, but. I'm no, I cannot. It. I can't even read the big score. <laughs> it's just a white box, man. You can't <laughs> cross, you can't read anything. <laughs> okay, um, the score is 6986. 6986. Six, Jeez, 7,000 basically. Yeah. I actually nice. didn't even run uh, superposition at, I ran on extreme, so I don't know what my medium score is. Oh, sheesh. Well, I was just running it just to try to like stress it and like, yeah. you know, stress the temps. Danny's is looking pretty <clears throat> smooth over there. Okay. Yeah, honestly. I'm getting that a little bit nervous. Was, that's a saf. Is that a, it looks like a sapphire. It's, oh. It's a gigabyte, I, right? I'm not sure if we were going to be able to tell. It's not. Is that gigabyte? It's not one of the most popular uh, brands. Hmm. Color? Yeah, uh, power color, color maybe. <laughs> Like an older power color card? No, Max. No. Dude, I tried to squeeze a 90 to Ti into the budget, and um, <clears throat> that didn't that didn't go very well. How much? Those are still going for like two, <laughs> yeah. at, or maybe yeah. like 180. I was gonna they buy. Their value. I was gonna buy one that was listed for like 120 that had mm -hmm. uh, like no display out. I was just gonna take a chance with it and try to figure oh, out. Oh, bake with it. it. <laughs> if I, yeah, but I've had so <laughs> many problems with this hardware that like there's no way I would have gotten that to work. So I'm glad I passed. <laughs> The two pins weren't in that location, so I kept on shorting those pins, and nothing was happening. Oh, he did pretty. He did. He did good. Seven four two eight. Seventy four twenty eight. Okay. Nice. Coming back a little. Right. Okay. He's like, even though Come I comeback season. <laughs> I think like you're still leading by such a long shot that hopefully fire strike brings up my, <laughs> oh, my oh, average God. a little bit. Um, but I know that one has that physics score that's gonna be baked into it. So we'll see. Yeah. Yeah. We'll see what the difference is. Okay, overall is 10,447. Yeah, we'll see what I get. And then we'll we'll see like what each of these means from like a second data point. Did you write those down, Danny? Yeah, yeah I did. Ones. Okay, all right. No, oh, I am running pretty okay. hot, close to the, uh, the temperature recommended. Yeah. So it might be auto throttling. Uh, oh man, it's my final <laughs> score was ten four five one. You beat Ozzy <gasps> by four points. Four. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm no mathematician, Danny, but I don't think you pulled it off. <laughs> I don't think. Hey, I won two. Of the you did, you did, you did technically. Okay, so yeah, I, I got killed in the physics. Your scores are so close together that when I divide one by the other, this, the answer is 0.9996. So like you both, so we go, both get one. You both get one. Like I'm rounding to the nearest thousandth place and yeah. Um, oh man. Uh, so it's not going to be very pretty. <laughs> <laughs> GG, Danny. Yeah. <laughs> this was fun. Nine three. I do that right? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. So you're actually oh, it doesn't look as bad. Yeah, yeah you're yeah, actually, actually not that far apart. Yeah, because I'm, I put the wrong thing in parentheses. I think the fact that we had multiple tests that I actually did decent on, it's like it averages out. It's like when you have three midterms and you like bomb <laughs> yeah. one of them. First the one. Other two, like saves you. Oh, few yeah, like yeah. So the so let's see the total, uh, the average for the three. <clears throat> So yeah, 2.593 like divided by 3. So you scored an 86. So 0.864. And, and Ozzy got a, what is that? Ozzy got 2.9. Well, that's going to be like a 96. 
Nine four zero. Is it nine seven? Nine eight. Oh nine eight. Oh wow. Yep. So he got it. I've never scored a ninety eight on a test. <laughs> <laughs> we can both congratulate Ozzy on his win. Congrats, Ozzy. Congratulations. Thanks, guys. Good job, Ozzy. I'll put some uh, ambient applause in the background. Oh yeah, fireworks. Uh, yeah. The wow sound from Levi's videos. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> that was uh, that was well earned. You did really good. I, I knew I. I the Xeon, if that's what you got, and I'm assuming it was, then you you were gonna be up there because that Cinebench I lucked score, out, honestly. That that yeah, Cinebench literally like that yep. it's, it's just straight up core count, basically. The fact that mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, and that was one third of the weighting of the total yep. score. Man. Yep. That's why I pushed When I go back to edit too. the video of me part hunting, when I get to the part where I'm looking at X56 motherboards, I'm gonna be like, why? <laughs> Why did I not, not do this? Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. I could have posted something super cheap on eBay that I knew was broken. Oh, and I you... found it because obviously it would have been in that window. Oh, like it's too good to be to true. Him. Dude, I would have been that sucker. You would have you would have suckered right me there. into it. I'd be like, guys, this check out this gold stuff, mine. Yeah. And then like I see on the like return label, it's like Danny Lee. I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, uh, thanks everyone for watching, and uh, thank thank you guys. Thanks, Danny. Thanks, Ozzy, uh, for being a part of it and contributing so much to it. And uh, we're excited to bring more people in next time. So, uh, yeah, I don't know how to end this, but uh, let <laughs> all right. Let us know. Watching, Watch thanks our videos. Yeah, They're all linked for below. Watching, guys. <laughs> let us know in the comments. Give the videos thumbs up, and uh, we'll be sure to do this again very soon.